What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I am doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already in good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. So today I wanna to talk to you about your situational awareness. Where are you on the scale of one to 10? One being completely oblivious and 10 being super alert, probably can hear a bird chirp in the middle of traffic. So I will say, I'm probably at an eight, okay? And I've probably been at a seven slash eight my entire life, even before I started carrying pistols. And I think that's because I don't like a lot of people close to me uh, standing in line. I don't like, you know, close talkers. I'm just aware of every little thing, you know, if you know, someone's riding a bike. I can hear it way down the street. When I walk into a restaurant, I never sit with my back toward the door. I always have to see who's coming in. On a previous video I spoke with you about, um, when I park, I constantly back in. Just in case anything pop off, I get in my car and I'm out of there. I don't have to back up and watch who's behind me, etc., etc. So I'm always alert. But I ask that because, you know, we carry firearms and we say, Okay, get your training in, be prepared if something ever happens, but just having great situational awareness can probably alleviate a lot of conflict even before it starts. So for instance, if you know um, you're going to a gas station and prior to pulling up to the gas station, if you are aware that there may be some, um, you know, disturbances happening. Maybe two people are arguing over a spot to get gas. Maybe there's a distraction with the cashier. Um, maybe there's a fight outside of the gas station. If you're just aware of what's going on, you can easily and quickly alleviate any potential problems just by simply noticing what's going on and continue driving forward and not even stopping there. Or if there's a situation where maybe you're going into a bank and you realize that there's something suspicious, don't go into the bank. You know, don't even put yourself in that situation. But I think a lot of times, you know, we're on our cell phones, um, we're juggling our coffee, we have paperwork in our hands, maybe we have a meeting that's about to happen at work, or, you know, we have children that we're trying to take care of, or we're, you know, um, on the phone in the argument. Those minor distractions can um, cause us to not be focused on greater and potential problems. So I've learned over time, especially um, now that I'm a CCW holder, that you have to be aware of your surroundings. You just have to know what's going on, when it's going on. You may not have all the details, but if something inside of you says, okay, time out, something's not right, and you have the potential to leave that scene or leave that area, then that's, you know, that's being conscious of your surroundings. That's, you know, that's your gut telling you, you may not want to take that path, you know? So that's having discernment. And I think sometimes our gut does tell us that and we are aware and those red flags do go up. But like I said, we're busy doing this, we're busy doing that. We think, oh, nothing's going to happen to us, Not, you know? what are the chances that I will get into a gunfight? What are the chances that, you know, um, I would get into a fight, period? What are the t chances that I will have conflict? I'm super nice. Who's going to bother me? And sometimes it's not even, it, the trouble may not even be targeting you. It could be targeting someone else and you're just there at the wrong time, wrong place, wrong time type of scenario. So I just wanted to, you know, get your opinion and get your, um, ideas about how you go about your day and whether you are aware of what's going on. You know, are you aware of transitional spaces, um, malls, parking lots, garages, where, you know, anybody could come from any direction, not just head on, okay, I'm looking this way, I could see all this, but you know, transitional spaces where you're walking to your car and there's another car parked to your right or to your left and someone comes behind a pole. Um, or, you know, you're in a mall and there's several different stores and there's conflict down at another store, you know, or, you know, somebody comes in front of you as you're walking and you didn't realize it was a pillar there. And then there's, you know, some type of situation, like, are you aware of your space, of your surroundings? And I think that, you know, when we 
when we go about our day, we're not thinking, oh, trouble's coming our way. We're just happy to get up. We're happy to get moving. We thank the Lord that for the most part, you know, we're, we have our limbs, we're alive, everything is well. I mean, we still have our life struggles. You know, we have bills, we have responsibilities, we have things of that nature. But for the most part, we're here to live and see another day. And so we go on about our day as if it's a gift. And it is. But I don't think that we take time to really, you know, really make sure that we are um, aware of what's going on. I just don't think we're aware, period. You know, I think a lot of people walk around with blinders on. A lot of people don't, you know, just don't acknowledge other people, don't acknowledge situations, step on your feet, don't even know it, <laughs> close the door while you're walking behind them, don't even leave it open for you. I mean, just... People just aren't aware. People, I think people are just in their own world because so much is going on. And so I just want to remind you that there is a world going on outside of your world. And, you know, just pay a little bit more attention to your surroundings. Pay a little bit more attention to what's going on with you and your children. And um, maybe that might, you know, save you from a situation where it's probably um not the best situation to be in i guess i should say okay so let me know your thoughts this is a just a little quick video i just want to see what you guys thought about it and if you think about it at all all right again i always pay attention i i you know i sit facing the doorway when i go to the movie theaters i'm near the exits i make sure i know where they are prior to coming in um when I park, I back in. When I'm walking, yes, I'm looking at my cell phone, but a, a cell phone, but occasionally I'm looking up to see what's going on, to see where I'm walking. You know, I don't get lost in um, in my cell phone. I try not to anyway. So, because danger, you know, danger doesn't knock on the door and doesn't give you <laughs> doesn't give you a heads up. You know, that straight dog is not going to say, "Oh, guess what? You're lunch today." They're just going to do what they need to do. All right, so. Just a heads up. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you on the next video. Peace.